Hey, I'm Anfa. So you have questions about making music with open source software and Linux? Yeah, I see you do. Maybe you have switched to Linux to make music or you are about to or you are already using Linux but wanted to get into music production or some other audio stuff like, you know, making podcasts, sound effects, film scores, whatever. I got you covered. The best place to ask your questions is my community chat. And there's a couple of reasons. One of them is comment sections under videos are really bad for technical support. You can't share screenshots, you can't share audio, you... Things get lost. It's really bad for this kind of thing. Uh, the community chat is way better and also things are searchable you can like keep links to things and f bookmark them and etc another thing is in youtube comments it's hard to like people can't find that in my community chat there's a dedicated place a channel called help you just put your question there and the couple hundred people that are there some of them are going to see that and they're going to answer you and they're gonna answer you probably even better than I could. Like one thing is faster because you know they can answer your questions when I'm sleeping or working or making games <laughs> or for whatever other reason I can't read your question and answer it or I just don't know the answer. There are things that I don't know how to do well and people from my community know better. That's why the community chat is the best place to ask your questions, have your technical issues resolved, just, just go there. Okay, so now that I've convinced you to go there, or we just turned off this video, in that case, I don't know why I'm talking to you if you're not here. The second thing is, how do you join the community chat? Because there are two ways. The first way which I recommend is to go to chat.anfa.xyz and what you'll see there is a self-hosted instance of Rocket Chat. Rocket Chat is an open source chat platform and this instance is hosted generously by a member of the community and like it's it's independent it's like it's ours <laughs> so the obvious upsides is that are that it's open source and because i'm all about open source and this youtube channel is all about open source then using open source communication tools is also appropriate you can log in with some social accounts like google facebook GitLab? No, GitHub works. GitLab, I think, doesn't. Uh, and also something else, I don't remember. Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. I think Twitter also works. So you can log in with any of these accounts using so-called social login or OO, OAuth, OAuth. Nobody knows how it works, though. And I failed to set it up for all the options. That's why there's a limited palette. Or you can just create an account. If you don't want to log in or create an account, you can still read everything that is posted there. All of the chat.anfa.xyz communication is public, unless of course it's private messages, then it's not public. But all the public channels are publicly accessible. You can link to them, you can permalink to, to messages or threads, or you, know, you can just access them. You don't need to register or log in or anything. You can just lurk if you want. But if you want to ask questions, you will be required to make an account or register like or log in with something else. And that's for security. I really don't have the resources to deal with, uh, you know, random people, random bots registering and posting spam. And I'd rather not deal with that. So this little inconvenience of you having to make an account is a big convenience for me and all the community as well. Plus, it's way easier if people have consistent, you know, names and avatars and you can recognize them. If you would like, you know, come over and use a different nickname every time you come over, then it would be kind of bad. I mean, it's hard to build a community when nobody shows their name or uses inconsistent names and changes avatars all the time. It's, it's hard. So yeah, I don't do that. I always have the same name and the same avatar. I mean, I update it sometimes, the avatar, that is. So that's one option, Rocket Chat which I recommend. The other option is Discord. Discord is, of course, proprietary and centralized. 
and it has a terrible, terrible art style of this, you know, disfigured, discolored, semi-human monsters, which are supposed to be happy and upbeat, but are really horrific and terrifying, which is called the corporate art style. And I, I hate it. Um, but what also has is uh, lots of people have accounts because it's popular. And a good thing about it is that it has a built-in voice chat and video communication. Though not many people use it on my community chat. But on the open source side, we can use Jitsi for the same effect. So it's really no, not much difference. So Discord is Discord. Uh, how do you access that Discord? Well, you have to go to chat.unfa.xyz. And when you go there, there is a home page. You can also access it if you press the home button. And there is a little description of what this page is and there are links to Discord, if you are so inclined to go there. Sorry, I can't have like a, you know, I could have like, a, I don't know, make a subdomain called discord.anfa.xyz and make it redirect you to a static invite. But I don't give a crap. Oh wait, focus. As a famous Canadian once said, focus you fuck! That's, that's bad focus, out of focus, okay. Right, so Rocket Chat and Discord. Now, regardless of which option you pick, you are accessing the same community, the same channels, and you'll be talking to the same people. It's one community, it's just accessible from two different places. How is it possible? Well, we're using something called MatterBridge. It's a piece of software that connects to Rocket Chat and connects to Discord, and it reads messages on both sides and sends them the other way. So it reposts messages from Rocket Chat on Discord and it reposts messages from Discord to Rocket Chat. Unfortunately, it's far from perfect and it kind of prioritizes Rocket Chat, which means people on Rocket Chat have the best experience because people on Rocket Chat see everyone's attachments and embedded images and see everyone's avatars. They see avatars of people from Discord, but people on Discord cannot see avatars or embedded images from people on Rocket Chat, which is kind of crap. Um, yeah, people from Rocket Chat seem to people on Discord like uh, avatarless bots, because they even have the bot tag in the name, which is kind of bad, but um, well, that's what it is. So <laughs> Rocket Chat gives the best user experience. Go Rocket Chat! Woo! All right. <sighs> yeah, the community chat is the best place to ask your questions. There's a lot of awesome people there who are doing amazing things with open source software and Linux regarding audio music production. You can also meet software developers, including like Paul Davis, who's the author of Ardor. He's hanging out there and answering questions and talking to people. Or Bacon Paul, who's the, the, uh, the main developer of Surge, or, you know, lots of other people. I'm not gonna list everyone, but it's a great place to be. Yeah, and honestly, I made this video so I can just copy paste it to everyone who sends me messages on Facebook, because I hate Facebook and I don't want to use it. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope uh, that's a useful information to you. By the way, thanks to everyone who is supporting me financially. These people are great. And if you would like to join them and support this channel, you can go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa. And there you can pledge in a monthly donation, which is very much appreciated. Okay, now go join the chat, get inspired, fix your issues and make some music.